So now we're going to see how the Allet RFID blocking wallet works against UHF. So UHF is a different frequency than that is used in credit cards or in access control badges. So as you can see, if I turn this on, it's, this is our UHF RFID sensor. So you can see that the as soon as I turn it on, it sends power at the UHF RFID sensor. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this. Um, normal passports, I'm not going to test an actual passport because passports are exactly the same frequency as HF. So we know that these cards, these cards will be blocked. But the US passport card, which is used at the Canadian and Mexican border by US citizens, has a different uh, has a different frequency. This is ultra high frequency. So now you can see this reads very, very well and at a very long range. If I were to take this and put it in my RFID blocking wallet, you could see if it's still exposed like this, it can still read, but it's the read is really, re, you have to get really close to the re, card to read it. And if I close the wallet, it can't be read at all. So the RFID blocking wallet works very well against UHF, ultra high frequency, which is, um, useful for passport cards so that number doesn't get exposed accidentally. So both the normal passports and the US passport card is correctly blocked. The only frequency which is not blocked by your passport blocking wallet are going to be your access cards. So if you have access control cards that are used to get into your buildings, things like this or like this, that are low frequency, those cards will not be blocked. Uh, thank you. Thank you for watching.